What's going on everybody? So I normally upload every two three, so it's kind of late on this video. But I've just been working and yeah, yeah, yeah I've been ordering parts with ITBs because last video I did say I got ITBs and I actually don't have them with me right now because they're actually getting delivered right now from FedEx. So I'm waiting for FedEx to show up to drop off my ITBs and I'll do an unboxing video for it. They're not new, but they're refurbished and I order a lot of things for vibrant performance. This is for my vacuum setup on the ITBs because I will show you guys when the ITBs do come here. But I bought vacuum hoses. Um, this is going to be from the uh, each throttle body and into this block from vibrant performance. It's really hard to explain until they're actually here. But yep, and got a bunch of these fittings to put right there. These are all, I think, 3 8 I forgot the size. But all the parts in here, I will link in the description. And I got 90s for the sides. Because um, I want all the vacuum hoses to point down. And yada yada yada. So, and look. Some of you seen claiming clutch with more stickers. So now, they can go back into my collection right there. I actually had to look up a lot on how to get these to run right, ITBs. Um, of course, you're gonna need a retune. Well, I need a retune. Of course, if you have a good tuner, you can tune it for pretty much daily use. And there's no problems running ITBs on daily, just make sure you run a filter. That's one thing I'm actually missing. I need a filter because I daily my car, and I mean, it's nice seeing those velocity stacks on them, but I'm just gonna put a filter over it so I can daily on it. And you won't lose any power with a filter compared to a, uh, was it ITR airbox? ITR me, ITB airbox. So the thing what I'm gonna do now while I wait is take this apart and put Teflon tape on each of these fittings and just screw them in. And yeah, fairly simple. And that big one right there, okay, so like I said, there's no tutorials on how to do this. So this is what I've seen. So each of these four holes each go to each throttle body. So one to the first throttle body, second, third, fourth, and then the two side ones. It depends on how you want to set up. I think it's all the same. But the two side ones, one's gonna go to my map sensor, and one is gonna go to my fuel pressure regulator. Depending on how I mount this, I think I might mount it like that to the firewall. So this is gonna go to my fuel pressure regulator and the map sensor. You just gotta take the map sensor off and run the vacuum hose straight to the map sensor from this. And this one's for the brake booster. But if you run, you know, brake booster, then you don't need that. You just plug it off. Uh, yeah. So, gonna open this part and put the fittings on. And like I said, I had to do a lot of research, and there's not really a lot of research on there online, even on forums and stuff, on how to install ITBs. So this is all just by basing off photos and just yeah, just researching a bit. So, and a lot of you guys are like, how do you do this? How do you do that? You research and you can figure it out. And ITBs like. It's, it's something that is kind of hard, but ITBs, it's, it's not, I wouldn't say it's fairly hard, but I mean, it's hard to find resources on how to do it, but it's pretty easy when you install it after you figure it all out. Because I mean, it's fairly simple, like vacuum lines, that's it, and I might need a custom throttle cable, so we'll see about that when the ITBs do come in, and I'll show you guys what they look like. Yeah. looks like so each of these nipples are gonna be running from a vacuum line all the way to each throttle body and this is the brake booster um, I have the fitting right here the brake booster so I'll put that on also and these two I kind of didn't really think about it but these ones they're not really like swivel head so if I screw it on I might go like this or like that so hopefully it goes like this. If anything, I just put a nut right here to lock it in place. And it'll look like this. But yeah, really nice piece by Vibrant Performance. 40 bucks. And I'll link all these if it was doing ITBs or this is my method of how to do it. And it's got this here so I don't lose it. But I'm gonna put the brake booster on, put these two 90s on, and it'll be good.
So this is what it looks like after all the fittings are on. I don't have my brake booster fitting because um, I guess I ordered the wrong size. It's too small so it doesn't fit in. So I just capped it off so nothing goes in it. But that's what it looks like. And I'll see about just putting this in the back of my firewall where my... I'm going to be removing that alarm. Sorry, and I'll probably put it right here. Somewhere on the firewall next to the VIN number probably. Just put it right there and then... Yeah, really, really nice piece and just left the hardware on there so I don't lose it. Now I'm just waiting on FedEx to drop off my ITBs and I can show you guys. But for now I'm just chilling here and might just order the right one for this one. That means the vacuum hose I bought wasn't the right size in. Damn it. Uh, oh well, all right. So roughly, I'd say four or five hours has passed and I've just been playing Destiny. And if you guys um, play Destiny 2 or Battlefield 1 or even Forza Horizon 3, add me. I'm down to play with anyone. Uh, a lot of time we lost the game tag, but um, the goodies have arrived, the ITBs have arrived. I have not opened it yet and I have not seen them. I only saw photos of it, so hopefully it looks exactly like the photos. So let me put you guys on a tripod and we'll crack it open. Really exciting moment. Hopefully they look like what the photo is. It would suck if like you buy something and it doesn't look like it. I've been dying to see these. You guys are seeing this when I've seen it too. Oh what the fuck? Oh my god. I can already see the fucking velocity sacks. Like did you guys attack it? The ball. You guys can see that, just the trumpet. I've never been so... Uh, I should just open up on here because it's not in the box anymore. It has been a while since I've been so excited to open something. So, there's the Velocity Stacks, or I think, well, some people call it, they call it the Trumpets. Uh, Alright, let's just finish picking this up. Where's the razor blade at? Alright. Okay, so let's just put this down. What? RC injectors? Yeah. Okay, I need to figure out a way to put this down. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I think. Oh, they're not dirty. They're just, they need a repolish on the stacks. But yeah, uh, TWM. TWM right there for B16 or uh, Type R uh, motor. Fuel neck, that's cool. Is there a TPS sensor on here? Hold on, let me just. Oh, okay, yeah, there is. The TPS sensor is underneath. But, yeah, let's figure out the throttle real quick. I'm gonna rotate this. And up. And just the str spring is really tight on it, but yeah. So um, TWM uh, was it throttle bodies? These are 52 mils. I think they have the 50 and the 52. And I just I think I need to make a custom throttle cable for it, of course. And the owner that sold them to me, he did include RC 440 injectors and the original TWM fuel pressure regulator so the current whoa the current setup on my car I won't really need it and that's for the coolant intake air temperature sensor there we go I forgot and yeah uh I think this is the original fuel oil that I, the fuel oil that it normally comes with and let me uh show you guys since I do have the ITVs here now so on this block you guys can see how there's four ports like how I was saying so each of those nipples right there that you guys see run on this block on each four of them and the center one is for the brake booster side this is for the map sensor and the left side or this one is going to be for the fuel pressure regulator of course and i think oh, wait does this even have a vacuum on it okay i gotta, gotta figure that out then okay but that has no um it doesn't even have a vacuum portion for it it's just straight up hmm. 
Okay, I, I gotta figure it out. Like I said, there's no tutorials on how to install ITBs. Like really good tutorials on the internet or anywhere. The only one I've seen is Speed Academy. They installed the Gen V ITBs on the S2000, but it's completely different from this. But the vacuum setup should be the same. But one one is the map sensor. One should be the fuel pressure regulator. But I don't see it on this one, so I probably just gotta figure it out. Yeah, I feel like it's. Oh no, this is different spots to mount the TPS sensor. I thought I was missing something, but um, there's some oil on it. But besides that, uh, yeah, just the spring is really fucking tight. Yeah, I'm excited to put this on my car. But yeah, um, so ITBs. Um, I still have to buy more parts. I had to do measurements so I could buy the filters for it because I'm running the little filter, for, like the giant foam filter over it. And then after that, um, that's when I will be installing the car. And you gotta figure out about the fuel pressure regulator. It doesn't have a vacuum on it, so I'll figure it out. And this one just goes through the box like every other car. Fuck, I am excited. What do you think, Keith? I'm excited. You're excited? Wow, oh, this is so this bad boy. It's yeah, it's gonna be like this. So <laughs> that shit looks crazy, dude. <laughs> wow, this thing's gonna look so sick. Holy shit. Okay, shut up, Alright, but that is it. So, subscribe if you're not. Stay tuned for the ITB setup. It looks good just sitting there.